forgot to show you guys this. Look at this view. Doesn't get any better than that. Uh-uh. All right, good morning. 6 a.m. <laughs> Finally got ourselves out to do a run. This is actually the first run I've been able to do in two months since I hurt my back in Thailand. And it feels so good to be able to move again. Okay. How's it? It's kind of weak. Can I try it? Yeah. It's like weaker than hotel room coffee. <laughs> Can we get scammed? Hold on. Well, we did not plan for the shot to go this way. But that's the coconut. Just, just try it. This is supposed to be rock cow powder. Is it? Yeah, it tastes like. I don't know. It tastes like a hint of cocoa powder. Well, that's not how we were gonna do this shot. But uh, I guess the coffee plantation we went to the other day sold us some really watered down cacao powder and. Uh, ground coffee. Wah, wah. <laughs> That's okay. I think I've instant coffee my backpack. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so today we are heading back on Sweet Maxine, our motorbike, and taking her to a temple. So today we're heading to Tanalat which is the most famous temple here in Bali. We've heard a, a few mixed things about it, whether it's like worth it or too crowded or too expensive, but we thought we'd see for ourselves. And it's about an hour away from Mabut, so it's gonna be a fun drive. You ready? Let's go. weather right now is perfect. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. There's a nice cool breeze. This is awesome. All right, we just got some gas and we're about ooh, halfway there. <laughs> So that was around eight dollars to get in something like that for two people and uh, they waived the motorcycle fee you can tell this place is set up for a lot of motorcycles there's another parking lot there's actually over there three. there's some over here they're all empty there's they're like all one, empty two, three, four. there's only six bikes here and you can tell there used to be a ton of shops maybe about a third of them are open but uh let's go find this temple yeah also we weren't sure if we were supposed to wear sarongs or not, but our host at our hotel gave us hers to wear just in case. That was really, really nice. She gave us two sarongs and two shaf sashes. Sashes. Yeah. Um, but since I think we don't actually go into the temple, I think we're okay. So Tana Lat means earth sea which seems to be appropriate because this temple is on a tiny little island just slightly off the coast of Bali. I do all the research, by the way. Tia never does any of the research. Are you kidding? I'm definitely not just repeating what she'll read to me. 
<laughs> yeah, who has a Wikipedia page up right now? That is not ton a lot, but it looks pretty cool. Check it out. We found all the people. There's a good amount of people here. Looks like we go down by the water. It's uh, kind of high tide right now, but I think that you can walk partially there maybe. Yeah. So this is Tanalat. It's been there for 500 years. It's, it's pretty impressive when you think about it that they built that and the tide comes in and you can't get to it. Uh, kind of like right now. That is pretty cool though. It is very beautiful. So I think usually you can kind of walk up to there and they'll do offerings and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that foreigners are never allowed in the actual temple up there. Is that right? Researcher. Ha, now you've gotten the researcher. This guy's committed. Love. Sunset Terrace. Do you want to go? Not sunset. So we decided to walk up this hill here a little bit to try to see if we can get a better view of Tanalat. And it looks like there's a few restaurants. Maybe we'll get some coconuts and look at the view. So in order to look at the temple from this area, um, with some shade, with some shade, we uh, paid for some slightly expensive drinks. I don't know, it wasn't too bad. It was maybe four dollars for both of them. Like I said, a little pricey, but I mean, it's so worth it. Look at this view. So I looked at the tide schedule. It looks like it's not gonna go down for three and a half hours. Do you wanna wait here? Or do you wanna go get lunch somewhere a little more cheaper? The second one. Yeah, you hungry? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe we just got here really early. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the shops are open now and there are definitely more people. How are these little birds? Oh, wow. I wouldn't call it crowded, but there are definitely a lot more tour buses. Mm -hmm. It's also getting really hot. It's 12 o'clock and I'm glad that we got here earlier. Yeah, it's 97% humidity right now. Oh yeah. Great. I'm hungry. So now it's lunchtime, and we're gonna head towards a restaurant that serves Bobby Guling, which is a suckling pig dish, which apparently is the dish to eat when you're in Bali. So we're really excited to try it. almost a thousand five-star reviews on Google. We are eating something called Bobby Guling, or Bobby Guling, which is a whole roasted pig that they slow cook over coals. Um, and it's really popular here, and it's actually one of Anthony Bourdain's favorite foods, so. Courtesy of uh, one of our subscribers telling us that. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's try it. And it actually looks like on the plate here, there's like, one, two, three, four, five, six different things on here. Okay, here it goes. Oh, 
wow. It's, it has a ton of ginger in it, and there's like a lot of spices mixed in with the meat, which is really tender. It's actually room temperature, it's not warm. So I must have cooked it a, long, a little bit ago, but it still tastes really good. And this right here is skin, and then just fat on the other side. And the skin's like, like hard as a rock. Oh, it's crunchy. Ooh, that would be my favorite part. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Mm, it's like so crispy. Oh, that's good. And this looks like, like some kind of cabbage slaw, maybe? Ooh, it's a little spicy. It's really, oh, it's spicy. It's good. It's like some kind of cabbage and green beans and some really spicy pepper mixed together. Oh, that's so spicy. That's good though. I got the same thing as Tia, so I'm going to try this. It looks like some darker meat, and it looks like it's very, uh, it almost looks like jerk. It looks very cooked. Oh, <laughs> so that is like very good barbecue without the sauce on it. There's no sweetness. It's more salty than it would be sweet. Um, not spicy at all. It's just like a really high quality barbecue. It's really good. It kind of tastes like what you put inside of a like a pork taco to me. Kind of, yeah. Okay, next up. I'm yeah. probably supposed to eat this with something else. I'm always the one that ends up being subjected to the hot peppers. I mean, you like spicy on this things. Show. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, that's hot. Yeah? I'm sure I'm supposed to eat it with the other stuff together, but I just want to taste it on its own. It's really hot, but it does have a lot of flavor. Okay, lastly, it almost smells like a grape leaf. I don't think that's what it is because we really haven't run into grapes at all here in Bali, but I don't know. Let's see. It's like very mild. What is it? It seems like it's maybe soaked or marinated in something overnight. Mm. I did read that they cut open the stomach of the pig and then put herbs in it and then sew it back up and cook it in the pig. So that could be what you're eating. So it's not olive leaf, it's stomach herb. <laughs> I'm sorry, should I have told you before you ate? <laughs> it, you know, I would have eaten it anyway. Okay, whatever this is. Kind of looks like fried chicken. I know it's not, but that's what it looks like. Ooh, that's really crunchy. Ooh. Oh. This is like a very lightly fried piece of bacon. Ooh. It's fatty and there's a bunch of flavor. Well, this is probably not good for you, but... This place was pretty good. So much food. It was a lot of food. That was a huge plate. Mm -hmm. And I will say the food was absolutely delicious and the flavor was good, but it did have that kind of spiciness that doesn't seem so bad at first. And as you keep eating, you <laughs> sort of realize that it's it getting hotter and up. hotter. And I drank the soup to try to help it out and that's even spicy too. <laughs> Everything was very good though. I have to say yeah. this place is top notch. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks you guys for hanging out with us today. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! She always makes me get these cameras. Okay. What? We can get a better... Oh no, thank you. Backwards. Why? We can walk backwards. No. Uh... <laughs> okay.